Hi and welcome to Matt's Music. In today's episode we are going to be reviewing a personal CD player, a brand new one in fact. Uh, this is the COVCDVI or potentially COVCD6. Who knows? It's a Chinese brand. They could have done it either way, frankly. Uh, the model number in fact is the KC-918 on the back uh, but on uh, on the Amazon listing, it was C-O-V-C-D-V-I. Uh, so uh, that's how you would search for it if you are looking at one. Uh, so let's delve through some of the features uh, and I shall give you my thoughts on it. Uh, having used it, I bought it about a week ago. I've been using it every day, really just to listen to CDs on the way to work. I've, I've go, been going in by train to the office. Um, it's about an hour door to door from literally walking out of my uh, front door, getting to the train station, train to the office and then back the other direction. So I can listen to sort of a couple of albums a day, an album in the morning and an album in the afternoon. And I thought, what a lovely thing to be able to do that on a uh, portable CD player. This is what I've been doing with this. Um, so overall, the build quality isn't too bad. Um, there's a bit of weight to it. Uh, I was expecting it to be much lighter weight than this, although I suspect that most of the weight is actually taken up by the battery. And there is something in it that rattles. So I don't know what that is, but it doesn't appear to affect the, um, the, 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 the working of the thing <laughs> so far at any rate. But, um, you know, it's not certainly anywhere near the build quality of the Sony units and the Panasonic units that you might have had back in the uh, in the 90s uh, but nevertheless it, it, it's solid it's well well built the the hinge uh, here is uh, feel, feels pretty nice uh, and, and it's it, it's magnetized when it when it goes back down like that and it's also see-through which I, I quite like there's a sort of frosted see-through cover on it um, which I quite like because it allows you to see the disc spinning and that's rather nice because uh, usually with CD players, the CD is sort of eaten into the machine and you don't get to see it spinning around, unlike vinyl and cassettes where you would traditionally be able to see something moving. And it was uh, nice to see that because, you know, things would move mechanically and music would come out. And it reminds you that you're listening to a physical format and not an MP3. Uh, so I quite like that. Um, on, the, uh, on the side here, um, you've got a USB-C port for charging, which is useful. Um, you've got a full-size USB port, which allows you to plug in a memory stick and listen to MP3, WMA. Uh, then there's a three and a half mil headphone jack. Uh, and then there's a, a button there, which is uh, just off, on and hold. Uh, so uh, that's uh, all you get on the side. On, on the other side, you have simply got a, uh, a, a, a jog wheel for volume. It doesn't, doesn't when you go all the way that way, it doesn't, it doesn't go to off. Um, it, it's just just volume. Uh, if you want to switch it off, you have to switch it off at the uh, at the other end there. Um, on the on the front, uh, you've got a mode button. Um, you've got uh, basically a couple of controls here for you know uh, skipping forward and backwards through track. You can scroll. You can toggle between the USB and the uh, CD. Uh, and if you press and hold it, you'll get. The Bluetooth um, pairing mode um, active as well. Um, there is quite a nice screen on the front. Um, that is te technology that certainly improved, I would say, since the days of the, well, the last one I bought, I think it was probably about 2003, and that had that sort of janky USB type, uh, uh, type USB, whatever, LCD type screen uh, from those days, which may or may not have been backlit and certainly wasn't very clear or bright or easy to read. If you're seeing any flicker on the screen, here, by the way, it is to do with the refresh rate of the camera. It doesn't look like that in real life, but you can see it's pretty bright and pretty easy to see, pretty clear. Um, so uh, in terms of build quality, it's very good. Um, in terms of sound quality, it's actually pretty decent. I've been using it with my uh, Sennheiser Momentum 2 headphones and uh, the sound uh, is actually very good. Um, I, they're Bluetooth headphones, but you can also put a wire in and, and wire it directly into the three and a half mil jack. Um, and I've been doing that actually for a couple of reasons. One, because you get better um, sound quality wiring the thing in directly than you do over Bluetooth. But secondly, I did find, and this is the first gripe I've got this, with this, I, I did find that there was a little bit of, um, it was a bit fiddly to get it to sync to the uh, Sennheiser Momentum 2 headphones via Bluetooth. Interestingly enough, I've got another set of um, cheap, crappy Amazon earbud things um, that I just listened to when I've 
when I'm you know, going to the gym or something, and, and a bass sync straight away. Uh, so the Bluetooth module works in it, but if you want to listen to music, you want to have nice quality headphones on. I found it a little bit fiddly to link up with the Sennheisers. Your mileage may vary on that one, but at any rate, I was using it wired, uh, and the sound quality was actually, yeah, it was decent. I mean, it's, it's not as good as the, the Marantz UD5005 uh, player that I've got in my main system, uh, wired through, it's a Yamaha um, AV um, a receiver, and then into these gigantic uh, BMW 330i's. Uh, that is a really lovely system. You're never gonna be able to get anything as good as that through you know, this tiny little thing and one of a tiny little DAC. And, so, and by the way, I'm running an external DAC for the CD player and everything. So the CD is coming out basically as a transport and, and then the sound has been converted by an external DAC. So this is a really nice system I've got at home. But this is for music on the go and it actually sounds really good. It's more than listenable. It's very, very good. And actually it sounds a hell of a lot better than streaming music through uh, the phone and then through uh, those Sennheiser Momentum 2 headphones, which are really nice headphones. They've got a great sound quality to them. But this sounds better when they're wired and plugged directly in and playing that CD quality through them. It really does make a difference. Um, the only other gripe I would say is this control surface on the front and um, you probably won't be able to see, uh, I'll see if I can get some sort of light on it so you can see there are sort of raised indentations to tell you like that's the M, uh, these are the sort of control faces here on, on either side of that screen that's in the middle, uh, you know, play and pause and, and track forward, track back um, are on this side. You really can't see them, you, you, you can feel this something under your under your hands when you when you feel them but honestly they all kind of feel samey and they're and they're touch sensitive too so as soon as you've as soon as you felt it in the dark you've pressed it anyway so that's not particularly useful and it's black on black and it's it's you know just impossible to see absolutely impossible to see so uh so not particularly good if you're the sort of person that likes to skip around through different tracks stopping and starting all that kind of stuff is a pain really it's not very user friendly at all in my case, I'm not that bothered because what I tend to do is uh, I'll, I'll put an album on, I chuck it in my bag and I just listen to the album from start to finish. Uh, so I, I've got, and so I'll literally I'll put the album on. Uh, as soon as it's on, I'll, I'll, I'll hit, switch this onto on and then onto hold. And as you can see, that will automatically start playing uh, just as soon as you do that. So I do that, headphones are on, then it's in the bag and, and uh, then, you know, just get to the end and take the CD out. As soon as you, as soon as you, you open up the CD drawer, uh, the CD will stop spinning. Uh, but yeah, if you want to skip around through tracks, choose something else, frankly, this would be a nightmare uh, because the controls are not very easy to operate. Uh, but apart from that, yeah, I mean, if you want something for like 30 quid that will play your CDs really decently, charges over USB, you get about seven hours of um, playtime uh, from the inbuilt battery. Uh, half decent build quality too uh, and uh, yeah you know rather than fanning around trying to get an old 90s unit to work as, as nice as it is to have kind of original hardware stuff like this I mean it's so cheap it's more or less you know a, a no-brainer as far as I'm concerned to pick one of these up would I recommend this over the other billion and eight variants that are on Amazon probably not I suspect almost all of them are going to have if not an identical but a very similar DAC in them, they're going to have an almost identical, uh, you know, sort of transport mechanism and motor and you know laser assembly and all that sort of stuff. So, so the things you're probably paying for differently are the slightly differences in design. I would look for something that had probably slightly easier to access controls on it. Uh, but otherwise, I would highly recommend picking up either this or something similar because they're a really tremendous way to be able to listen to your CD collection on the go. So that's it. Um, I'm not affiliated with um, the COVCD VIKC918 in any way. <laughs> so there's no affiliate links or anything like that to follow. Uh, but yeah, if you appreciated this review, uh, leave us a thumbs up, consider subscribing if you want more content about music and I will see you all in the next one. Cheers.